In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at the process of creating your own titles and giving you some basic tips on designing them yourself. There are actually three approaches to titles in Premiere Elements 2018. One is to use the preset titles that are built in. We'll have a lesson on that. Another is to take a preset and then modify it to fit your own needs. We'll look into that. But in this lesson, we'll look to the more independent way of doing it by simply building your own title from scratch. Titles in Adobe Premiere Elements always sit on a video track. We have our current time indicator here at this moment in time. And if we wanted to, we could insert a title right here, but it would override this, this uh, section of our video and it would go blank and we would have the other items pushed to the right. What Adobe does wisely is when you start to build a title, it will put it on a higher numbered track. In our case, we'll see the titles appear up here on video track number two. Now this determines where the title starts and you have a default length of your titles. You can move the title once it's placed on the timeline like anything else. And you can also stretch it to make it longer or you can shrink it to make it shorter. That determines the duration of your title in your project. Well, let's look at a couple ways in which we can begin to build a simple title uh, for those of us who are independently minded. Uh, you can click on the title tool on the right. Uh, if you do that, that's the T, you have two categories of titles. You have motion titles that have movement to them. If I click the down arrow, I also have classic titles. And both the motion titles and the classic titles have many subcategories that you can turn to. If I click on classic titles, that will give me my basic ones. And then I can click on general and it will give me a bunch of presets. And uh, this would be the simplest default up here. I'm not going to use this particular tool. Let's use another one for this particular lesson. I'm going to minimize that screen. And to create a, the simplest title from scratch, just click on the text menu at the very top of your Adobe uh, Premiere Elements 2018 screen. And from the drop down, you can pick new text. Now here you have three options. You have default text, which is the same box we saw a moment ago. Then you have default roll and default crawl. Roll and crawl are motion titles. Crawl moves from right to left or left to right. And roll moves from top to bottom or bottom to top. Since we're going to start with a simple title, we'll click on default text right now. And now at my uh, timeline indicator or where my scrubber was, it inserted a title called add text right here in uh, the center of my screen. Let's look at some of the ways in which we can basically start to edit titles as we build our own. You notice you have four tabs to pick from, text, style, animation, and shapes. We're going to focus on the text tab in the adjustments panel. That's the, the box that activated when we uh, brought our text down. And let's focus on the, some of the features on a basic title. First of all, you have a font uh, family that you can pick from. And when you click on it, you will see it you will see it change according to the particular font that you have here. The default name is add text. If I click inside the box and do control A, let's let's call this something like American flag. And now I have my text selected there. You notice you can add as multiple options on uh, multiple text on the same title. We're not going to work on that one right now. If I want to uh, control my text, I can click on it in the box, or I can click the arrow if I don't have the handles on the edge of the box, and that will allow me to take it and drag it and put it wherever I want to on the screen. Let's take this and move it to the upper right quadrant here. Now I want to change the size of that. There are two ways to change the size. One is to simply click over the, num the size number over here. I can uh, drag across it and type in maybe, let's try a 90 and press enter and that increase the size or if you look very closely when you ho hover the mouse over the box you have a double headed arrow right and left if I take that and I drag it right the number will get bigger and the font gets bigger on my preview window or I can drag it left and it will get smaller once I have the handles again I can readjust the size 
the other thing I can do besides changing the font family from this drop down and these are all the fonts that you have in your Windows operating system so if you add another font to your Windows you have that font available to use here in your particular uh, uh, application with uh, Premier Elements 2018 so I have my title here I can do bold I can do italic I can do underline or I can also click down here on the drop downs and I have a few other options it just depends on how the font was constructed I'll go back to regular here you can also change the alignment whether it's in the box whether it's left or centered or right aligned you can also align it to the entire screen if I click here now that will align it horizontally and if I click on the second button that aligns it vertically and in this case I don't want it right in the center I want it up to the right so I'll leave it there but I do want to change the color let me show you a couple things about that when I click on the color palette I have my color properties box you have a fill box and you have a stroke box it took a bit of research for me to discover that the stroke box will not work when you design a title this way it will work if you do a preset title that has an edge around the graphic of the letters and then you can edit it but you can't use stroke here it's grayed out so let's look at what we can change here we can change the color and I uh, obviously I want something that will show up a little bit better here so I can use my slider here and uh, pick a color I'd like there's a good one American flag let's turn on the drop shadow as well we when we click on that we have several options we have a distance control how far it is uh, from the actual letters and I tend to exaggerate that until I get the angle of a shadow where I want and then I can pick whatever angle I like and you can see as we drag the mouse that number will move and it will move in uh, around the the radius of the center and well let's move this one down a little bit more okay I want it a little bit lower right that's good now I'll change the distance and I'll make it a little tighter but now I've got the shadow at the angle I like you can also change the softness you can make it a hard shadow or very uh, indistinct shadow those are some of the initial customizations that you can make when you basically build the title on your own and once you have the title you can obviously take it and drag it and put it anywhere in your project that you want you can lengthen its time on the screen by dragging and there you have it here's an example of a finished product in the previous screen where we have our title on the screen for as long as we desired along with the video of the flag in the next lesson we're going to show you a little bit more about using presets